Hey everybody, it's Allison, the Holistic Homesteader. I'm here with Harper, and we are going to make some blueberry banana bread. Blueberry banana bread. So the first step in our banana bread is getting out two bread bread pans and spraying them with nonstick spray. I just have some avocado oil. You can also use butter. So that is the first step. Second step is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So our dry ingredients for our blueberry banana bread go like this. We have three cups of flour. This is gonna make two loaves of, of banana bread. We have three cups of flour. We have two teaspoons of baking soda, tea, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I have all of that in my bowl, and I'm just gonna whisk that together. For our wet ingredients, we are going to use two cups of our organic sugar and one cup of avocado oil. We're going to mix those together on high for about one minute. Then we stir in four eggs, and we mix that together with one tablespoon of vanilla. I have my homemade vanilla extract here. You can simply make this at home with some vanilla beans and vodka. It's super simple. Those are our wet ingredients. I'm gonna take all four of those, the vanilla, eggs, sugar and oil, two cups sugar, one cup oil, four eggs, one tablespoon vanilla. I'm gonna just mix that on high in my mixer until it's well combined. So we have our sugar and oil down in our mixer. Harper's gonna add our vanilla and our eggs. Once she has that all in, we're gonna turn that up. And we're just gonna let it <laughs> mix for a minute. There we go. Now to our liquid ingredients, they are all mixed together. We are going to add our dry ingredients. So this was flour, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, and salt. We're gonna add that down into our liquid and we're just going to mix until well combined. You can see it gets pretty thick. At this point, we are ready to add in our mashed bananas. We are using four pre-smashed, really, really ripe bananas. We added our bananas down into our dry and wet ingredients. We're just gonna turn this on low and let everything mix together really well. <laughs> There's Harper with our banana bread mixture. At this point, this is just banana bread. Now we are going to add our fresh blueberries. You can use frozen too. Gonna add those down in and we're just gonna let that mix on low for maybe a minute. We don't want those totally disintegrated into our batter. All right, there are our blueberries. We're going to turn this on to low and just let it mix for about a minute, maybe a little less, just until they're all well incorporated. Here's our batter. Now we're just going to separate it between our two bread pans. Our blueberry banana bread is ready to go into our oven. It's preheated to 350 degrees. We're going to put it in here for about 55 minutes and we will check it with a toothpick and see if it's done. So the timer just went off on my bread. We have two loaves of blueberry banana bread and two loaves of regular banana bread. I have a couple of toothpicks sitting out here. I'm just gonna take a toothpick and I'm just gonna check the center. I can see already, this is definitely not done. You can see that it's still very, very moist in there. Same with this one. This one's closer. I would say we have probably five more minutes yet on these, these breads here. So I'm gonna put them back in the oven for about five more minutes. So our breads have been in for another five minutes. We are going to pull them out so I am making a double batch here. I'm making a batch of blueberry banana bread over here on the left, and I'm making a batch of regular banana bread over here on the right. By looking at them, I'm guessing they're pretty close. Might need 
five more minutes yet, but I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm just gonna test the center and see. Uh, maybe not quite on that one. They will continue to cook. I think this one's good. This one's good. So these two with the blueberries need about five more minutes, I bet. 